Take wood chips, sawdust, or other plant waste material, mix it with the solvent, and then put it through this little blue machine. Then what do you get? It's called bio-oil, and an engineering team from the University of Kentucky thinks it can be an exciting new addition to alternative sources of petroleum for an energy-hungry nation. This biomass conversion process will have a number of unique characteristics. For instance, it breaks down the plant material that isn't suitable for ethanol production. That has huge implications for states such as Kentucky that have large amounts of waste products from industries like wood processing. UK biosystems engineer Zarina Krofcheck said the idea for this converter was a spin-off from work they had done with a machine that converts coal into oil products. The key is to apply pressure and heat in the right proportions. You put your biomass in, it's got to be chopped up, and we mix it with a, with a sol solvent so that it gets kind of like a paste, and it gets Basically, there's a screw in there that'll turn it around, and it gets pushed all the way down to the end, and as it's getting pushed, the pressure builds, and we also heat this entire region. So with the combination of pressure and temperature and the presence of that solvent, the biomass will break down in, into smaller pieces. And those are the smaller pieces that we get out of the end, that's our product, and we can then use that and refine it like you would a crude oil into some of the other products that we get from petroleum. Krofcheck adds that bio-oil can play a complementary role by providing the raw material needed for high-end petroleum-based products from lubricants to plastics. There's a lot of talk about what to do with ethanol and biodiesel, and the nice thing at looking at bio-oil is it takes care of some of the other things that we produce from petroleum. So you, you may not, you're not going to use this to make gasoline. You might not even use this to make diesel, but there's other products that you, we get out of the refinery that we're still going to have to replace. The other unique part of this system will start in about a year. Rodney Andrews, who directs the UK Center for Applied Energy Research, says once the process and end product are thoroughly tested, a larger test version will be mounted on a trailer and taken to a site that generates sawdust or wood chips. Um, right now, the, the, one of the major limiting factors in using biomass for anything, even for you know, combustion, is that it, it's simply too expensive to ship at any great distance. Um, and as distributed as it is, that transportation is a big issue. And so what we're trying to do is move, you know, one piece of equipment instead of, you know, 20,000 tons of biomass. So the end product of their work will be a portable system that can process large amounts of waste plant materials into products that are worth transporting to a refinery to create high-end petroleum products. For Growing Kentucky, this is Mark Eklove reporting.